Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and this is probably, I think, the first ever channel update I've done. Uh, well, it seemed kind of appropriate uh, as the channel is growing quite nicely and I am immensely grateful, uh, astonished and, and kind of humbled in a way that uh, so many of you are joining me on this bizarre little journey playing games in uh, in my particular style. Who knew it would take off? But thank you so much for joining me uh, along this way. Uh, and because I'm getting more involved in various um, YouTube communities and groups and so on, um, and just, just engaging more uh, with you as an audience and also other content creators, uh, and I thought it might be uh, useful to sort of get in touch with you personally and just talk about the channel and what I'm doing and perhaps give you a chance to input uh, and give give me some ideas um, for growth, for change, for things you'd like to see me have a go at. So uh, why why in this this point in particular uh, have I started to do this? So apart from the growth of the channel and so on and so on and so on, uh, it's because the frequency of updates is about to change. The last three weeks or so have been kind of um, a purple patch, if you will, where I've been updating considerably more frequently than I have done in the past. Um, and there's a very good reason for that, and that's because the theatre season goes kind of closed for during the summer months, uh, certainly during August. And as you know, if you've been a long term uh, uh, member, uh, subscriber for the channel, uh, then I do enjoy the theatre a great deal and go as often as I can. Um, now, I, I don't live in London, so I can't go every day of every week of every month of the year. Um, so out here in the provinces, it's a little bit less frequent, um, but even so, I go as often as I can. And uh, there's been very little. In fact, I've, I think I've only been to the theatre once so far in the last three or four weeks, which is ridiculous. I'm, I'm feeling kind of tense on edge. I mean, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? But that's by the by. So the, the new autumn season at the theatres I go to uh, is kicking off uh, this week, in fact. So I'll be spending more time doing that, which does mean less time creating video content for the channel. So just to let you know that uh, if there's any particular series that you're following, the updates will be a little bit slower uh, for the rest of the year, I imagine, uh, as, as I spend more time away from my computer. But uh, anyway, so what have we got to look forward to over the next month or thereabouts? Uh, talking about the content that's already on the channel, Transport Fever, the big one. Um, those two series will, I think, come to a conclusion reasonably soon, probably within this month. Uh, we'll wrap those up. Uh, the Square England one, uh, the longest one, the traditional Let's Play, will sort of wrap up naturally. Uh, I've, I've no particular thoughts or ideas as to how to finish it. It will probably just finish and we'll have a quick review of the map and see what we've got and so on. The other one, the One Hub series, was created with a particular intention to see if we could create one big city on the map, or at least one big city on the map. We haven't quite achieved our goal of 10,000 people. Um, we're struggling around 4,500 population in the hub city that we selected. Um, but I think because of the, the, the population on the map, the way the game works, performance is becoming a real issue. Um, playing the game and presumably for you watching the, the, the videos as well. Uh, so we will wrap that up fairly soon um, but because it had a particular aim there will be kind of a big review for that uh, series at the end to see what we've achieved, how we got there uh, and just have a more detailed look at um, how the game, how, how the city developed, how the map developed um, because of the strategies I employed to, uh, to get to where we are today. Uh, one other reason for, of course, for coming to an end with the Transport Fever is we're looking forward with considerable an anticipation uh, to the release later in the year of Transport Fever 2. Uh, so I will continue with the updates from that. So as and when news is released from Urban Games and Good Shepherd, you will see uh, either a, a video reaction uh, from me uh, or any other content that I can put together uh, to reflect what news we've got from the team. Um, so I'm kind of thinking they might release it, as I said in the first video, uh, as a kind of anniversary uh, of Transport Fever, which was released in November. So I'm kind of looking towards a November release, but they've been no more specific than 
quarter four 2019 so we will see when we see so that's to continue the other big game that i'm playing at the moment is sim airport and that series will continue uh, because that, as i mentioned in a at least one recent comment i am thinking that because of this fact this first series was me learning the game and the mechanics and how to lay things out um, what I might do is rather than continue building this airport is add a few new features get my head around some of the things I haven't yet used in the game and then we will sell that map and start a whole new map afresh uh, hopefully using the lessons I've learned from this first series uh, so that will actually be a whole new series based I'm gonna try I want to see if I can actually try and build it on a more realistic level or a more realistic sort of um, perspective um, perhaps they're based on a real airport so if you've got any airports that you think I could attempt to recreate in game then please do send in ideas and if you've got the actual sort of maps and layouts of the airports that would be great I mean I've tried a few of the ones of the airports here in the UK that I know but trying to find detailed sort of arrangements of them isn't always as easy as I thought it was going to be uh, so we will see so whether that will be in September uh, or moving into October I'm not quite sure probably September I will finish up this map and then start the second series of sim airport the other game I'm really enjoying at the moment is another brick in the mall uh, it's a little bit slow going at the moment as you may have noticed uh, I'm finding it a little more difficult to earn money but I'm learning new things and again thank you for those of you who've commented on that and given me ideas and suggestions on how to uh, expand the the mall uh, and earn more money and uh, get into the more exciting parts of the game uh, so I will continue with that um, and I'm not seeing an end to that until either I get thoroughly bored uh, or you stop watching or um, I fill the map up uh, which is probably going to take quite some time knowing the speed that I play games at as you're familiar with um, so yep another brick in the wall will continue through this month Tech Corp that's an interesting one the game still very much is in early access uh, so it's quite possible that um, the developers might break the save games to add and fix uh, what they've got in the game already is very very early in the game development uh, certainly in terms of the public access to it anyway uh, so that will continue uh, depending very much I think on the updates that uh, the developers provide to us uh, and again if I can provide any any sort of useful or interesting entertaining content for that game I will continue to do so now other than that one of the other reasons I want to sort of set September as a kind of month to change things up a little bit or to finish a few old things off is because coming in October we are expecting the next major update to Computer Tycoon uh, a game I, in early access I played earlier in the year and really enjoying it's kind of a grand strategy uh, approach to the uh, tech tycoon market uh, so it's quite a fascinating little beast in its own right so I'm looking forward to see some some of the developments that the uh, developer uh, Andras uh, Pro Progorian as, as he's uh, named his company uh, see what they've they've done to the game see what he's done to the game uh, he is a sole developer with obviously various friends and uh, associates working on some art and music and stuff uh, feeding into the mix uh, so yeah, I'm looking really looking forward to restarting Computer Tycoon um, with uh, a, a fr basically a fresh game. He's describing it as Computer Tycoon 2.0, uh, so that should be fascinating, and we're expecting that at some point in October. And the other thing, of course, um, is if there's going to be any new games that I pick up, uh, one-offs and so on that, that I might see and think, oh, let, let's have a quick look at that, see if I can add sort of, uh, the odd sprinkle your sprinkling of, of um, one-offs and special projects into into the channel just to sort of see what catches so again I mean that's one of the things uh, I'm doing this particular update for uh, is to ask you if you've got any great ideas um, games that are coming up games that have been out for a little while things that I can uh, I can add to the channel in terms of content and games that you would find entertaining interesting or, uh, or useful uh, I quite like being able to show things off how they work um, to, to help players 
uh, who are new to a game or aren't quite sure how it all works. I've, I've got this, I have a background in, in this thing we call real life uh, in training. Uh, so I, I enjoy doing that. So if there's something I can add to, to your experience of a game, please do ask. Uh, either in the YouTube comments or on the Twitter feed uh, or it's Instagram or any of the other places I'm to be found. Um, all the links are in the description to this video. So there we are. If you've got any thoughts, ideas, uh, games to play, uh, challenges in particular games, then, then feed them into the mix. Uh, you know sort of how I play if you've watched the videos I've put out. Um, so I have a particular niche I think I, I fall into. Um, it might be interesting to try a few different things, but there's some games I'm really rubbish at. Uh, and some games I quite enjoy. And some games I did try actually way back when I started this channel. Uh, I thought I might add a Civilization um, series to the channel. Uh, I think that was Civ 5 at the time. Um, but I, I couldn't, I think, make it work quite because of the way I play the game uh, and what I want to produce for, for you as, as, as an entertaining watch. I, I didn't feel like I could add much to, to the Civilization uh, experience, as it were. Uh, it just didn't really work. So, yeah, uh, any ideas be gratefully received. Um, but most of all, thank you so much for joining me so far uh, as a subscriber to the channel. Uh, your comments, your support is um, is very much appreciated. As I said, I'm, I'm kind of humbled that <laughs> so many of you want to, to see what I'm doing uh, and keep in, in, in touch with, uh, with where I'm going with the channel. That is heartening and lovely. And I love you all. Does that sound a little bit too cheesy? It probably does, but I don't care. I'm of, I'm of, I am of an age now. I don't care if it's cheesy or not. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> so, there you are. so that's it. That's what's uh, coming up in September and a little bit beyond for the channel, Ajax Post Plays. Strange name, but there you are. That's the way it is. Uh, if you've got any ideas, thoughts, suggestions, anything to say, of course, then drop a note into the comments below. That'd be very much appreciated. Uh, and of course, if you're seeing this as the very first thing on the channel, why haven't you subscribed yet? Go do it now. You'll like it. Probably. <laughs> It'd be lovely to have you along for the ride. So that's it. Thank you very much for joining me uh, for this little update. Uh, and I will see you again in the next video. But until then, from me, Ajax Post, bye-bye for now.